Hi there, I'm Josh and I scored a raw 15 methods in 2019 and a perfect ATAR in 2020. I currently spend my time teaching students on a volunteer basis at schools across Melbourne as well as private tutoring and I've gained a wealth of experience in what it takes to do well in the methods exam. Before we begin, I want to say that if you have any questions at all, feel free to comment or message me on Facebook or Instagram or send me an email. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. There are a couple of points I want to address. The first is that the CAS is a supplementary device to help you solve questions. It's not there to replace your brain. You need to be able to analyze the question using your brain. After analyzing it, you have, for example, a solve equation that you can't do by hand because it's just so complex, so you put it into your CAS. You need to know what will come out before you put it in because that is part of understanding the question and understanding what is being asked. For example, if your question requires a domain, I'm thinking like a trick question where sometimes you get infinite amount of solutions and you just want to restrict it to a certain domain, you need to put that into your CAS function. That's one element of understanding what will come out and therefore being able to adjust and limit yourself so that you are in control of your CAS, not the other way. You won't be able to just put your question into the CAS. You need to analyze it yourself. You need to be in charge of your CAS. The second thing is CAS shortcuts are not as useful as some people make them out to be. I didn't use any at all. I think the only shortcut I really used on my TI Inspire is the define function. Control this button here, which helps you define things quickly. The third is that you should know all the functions that you need because there are so few. Those are pretty much the only functions that you need to know. Therefore, have them on your brand reference to remind you that you can use these. The next thing I want to talk about is in relation to graphing. And we all know, especially on the TI Inspire, that graphing is such a difficult thing to do, especially when you have parameters. So I only occasionally use the graphing function on my CAS when I had a super hard graph that I didn't know how to do by hand. Otherwise, I would do it by hand. And in a later video, I'm gonna talk about how to draw graphs by hand that are harder. For example, additions of functions, composite functions, functions with parameters. And the thing about graphing on the CAS as well is that you can't really put in parameters because then you get that small box you know, on the graphing page and it gets really messy. And I'm going to be talking about questions relating to those such as endpoint optimization in another video where I talk about how the questions and how to solve them. The next thing I want to say is to get fast at it, but don't worry too much if you're not very fast at it. I think it's more important to understand what you're doing. If you're fast at it, that's great. If you're not as fast as it, make sure you get it right rather than get it wrong, but do it quickly. Take advantage of it massively during the multiple choice question. The reason being each multiple choice question is different. Therefore, you're required to start an entirely new train of thought every time. And the CAS will help you immensely with that. For example, look at this average rate of question, question three on the 2019 methods exam, which was my exam. Define f of x on your CAS. f of eight minus f of six over eight minus six equals. The next thing is the approximate function. Get used to using both enter and control enter, at least on TI Inspire for approximating an answer. Approximating is very important for just checking if your answer is correct, even if your answer must be given in exact form, especially when you're drawing, for example, a minimum point of a graph. You need to define your functions. In an extended response question especially, you need to be able to use functions again and again. And defining functions saves time and minimizes your opportunity for mistakes because you're not manually subbing things into your function. You are letting the CAS do the work for you. And that's what the CAS is about. You're in control of the CAS. Use it well, don't let it control you. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions. See you in the next video where I'll be talking about further algebraic misconceptions and how to approach doing your exam.